Hey, good morning, good afternoon to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Hope you have a very happy Thursday today. We actually have a new weather pattern that's about to happen, and it's going to last for about a week. Uh, as you can see right now, you got the storms, upper level low, brewing over the Gulf, and this will go over Florida, and this will be the normal pattern. But this will stop for Florida, and we're going to have a problem going into the central U.S., then the Ohio Valley. And it's going to bring heavy flood. So if you've never been here before, hello. My name is Mark. I do upload every single day, just not sundown from Friday to Saturday. That's when I take my Sabbath. But I always put videos up here whenever I have a lot of information to show people. And I also put timestamps in the description for your convenience. That way it saves you time and it goes to exactly what you need to see. So hit that subscribe button and become part of this wonderful community that we do have here. And I will make sure to be working hard for you. Uh, two videos that I have for y'all today shows the total precipitation for the next seven days. I'm showing five days. It's going to be a big problem all the way across the Ohio Valley. And then when we get to six and seven days, that's when it's going to go south. And we're showing two different outcomes. The top one is from the Euro. It will show you that it's a little bit further south on that sixth and seventh day of rainfall. As far as who is it going to get for Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. And the bottom one is GFS. It shows a little more northern of the precipitation that's going to happen in the south on day six and seven. Maybe even possible day five. But it will brew up some strong storms and it could be some serious heavy flooding. Plus, don't forget to go to the channel if you have not seen the tropical update from yesterday. I did put an update out and you're going to want to see it. And y'all hit a like on this video if y'all want to update as far as what these storms are going to do. Because as you know, tomorrow will be my last video until Sunday. Now this is us first thing in the morning and you can see the upper level low trying to fight some wind shear and form up. It will eventually will form up somewhere over Florida or past Florida for the southeast. But at the same time, this high pressure that's coming down towards the southeast it is bringing some cooler temperatures, those 40s I told you all about, frost in the upper Ohio Valley, Michigan, intercoastal states of the Northeast and the Midwest. But at the same time, it's going to come on down and push this away after a while, and it's going to create a lot of good weather. There will be rainfall, there will be thunderstorms, but with this high pressure down here, the good part about it is there will be no chance for tornadoes to come out of these storms that will be happening for the next couple of days. Now in the next six to 10 days, according to NOAA and National Weather Service, you're gonna be above average for precipitation, especially in this green area, because it's gonna pull storms all the way up to the north. This high pressure is gonna park, it going clockwise, it's just gonna pull this, funnel this up. At the same time, it's gonna give a lot of area for over Oklahoma, Wyoming, also towards uh, the sixth and seventh day towards New Mexico and Texas for lot low pressures to form up on the western side of this. And that will, of course, will keep funneling this straight up the middle of the country. Unfortunately, you're going to be less than average uh, precipitation for the northeast, but also for the west coast. I know y'all going through a drought over here. Now, all these storms, all these warm dew points, all this is going to happen in the central U.S. as well as Ohio Valley will bring warmer temperatures into our country and it's for the next six to ten days you'll be above average temperatures in all this area here the white just is average the white is your average temperatures for this time of year as well as the below average temperatures for the northwest for that arctic air that is coming down and here's your drought monitor it comes out every thursday and you can see that you are in extreme drought in all of this red and the dark red is exceptional drought so there will be some rainfall that will be coming towards uh, eastern New Mexico, northeastern New Mexico, so that part of the drought will change. And a couple of other areas as well, but mostly this is going to stay this way. I will show you the total precipitation at the end of the video. Remember, the timestamps are in the description. Now, this is from your GO-16 satellite, and you can see all the moisture and all the precipitation that's going to be going across the southeast, especially over Florida. You can see the upper level low down here trying to create a surface low pressure. It is getting beat up by some wind shear, but it is trying. Now, as we check out real quick with the NAM 3K and see for the next two and a half days, you'll see this high pressure does move towards the south. And you do see that that does become a surface low pressure on the southeast, and it does move out into the Atlantic. Storm still going over Florida. This is by Thursday evening going into Friday. And you can see the high pressure up here in the Ohio Valley. Now it's going to start moving towards the south and the southeast. Now that brings those cooler temperatures I told you about. But at the same time, 
There's no chance for tornadoes in the south because of this. High pressure brings clear skies, and this high pressure is going to stick around for a few days. Now, as it moves and leaves, then it's going to allow, allow these storms that goes from Texas to the central U.S. It will allow it to go into the Ohio Valley. Then you're going to have some more storms. Now, all this moisture and all this dew points, all this steering of this, of this atmospheric precipitation will create a good chance for storms in the central U.S., uh, you will get a lot of low pressure systems and upper level lows in this area. It will be primed. I will show you the Cape values as well. Now this is your shot for late Sunday into Monday. You can see a surface low pressure over Oklahoma, right below Wyoming. And it's pulling the moisture up. It's creating some storms in a few areas. And now you can see also the high pressure has moved away and the storms are able to go into the Ohio Valley by this point. While you still have moisture and storms that is coming up from the Gulf of Mexico still. Uh, feeding into the jet stream into the central U.S. By Tuesday, that's when it gets that shift. When it gets that sixth and that seventh day, that's when it shifts to the south now. That's when the high pressure is totally gone. It's not going to be pushing everything uh, really big up there. When this high pressure comes down, it's going to create a very high ridge to the Midwest. So it's going to pull all that energy, all the low pressure systems, all these storms to the central U.S. When a high pressure moves away, then it's able to relax and get back into the jet stream, get into these curves. And as you get into the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh day, it'll start getting more relaxed back into this normal pattern. But here it is on Tuesday, and you can see the low pressure system, the upper level low, all the energy has formed up and moved lower towards New Mexico and Texas. This will bring more storms southern now. It'll bring it into Texas, Oklahoma, and this one's going to affect Louisiana, Arkansas, and slowly move east into this normal pattern of Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee. Now, as far as where these storms could be popping up, for tomorrow, your Cape values will stretch all the way up to Kansas, and it'll be pretty good Cape values. It'll go all the way up to 1,700. Uh, widespread 1400 everywhere so that's where your thunderstorms could create for tomorrow for saturday it still goes way up into kansas as well it's a little more uh, strengthened more energy in the air you can see it all through texas now and it's affecting uh, colorado and portions of wyoming as well with some energy for some storms and saturday's storms will be getting stronger they are over 2000 now in this high red the light red is 1800 but you can see 1800 all the way from lower texas all through texas and going all the way up to kansas this is a big area for severe weather that will be happening for saturday by sunday you got values over 2600 2700 all through texas 2800 so it will be very strong for sunday as well as this trains through for a few days and it all meets up right here around Kansas every time. And it's getting Colorado even stronger this time. And it's moving stronger across the Ohio Valley. Now, Monday and Tuesday, your sixth and your seventh day, is when that high pressure moves away into the Atlantic. And it allows all these dew points to come to the southeast now. And now for Monday, 3,600 everywhere, 3,700 for your Cape values for Texas and lower Oklahoma. A lot of energy in your area for Monday. Now, Tuesday is a little bit more back to normal for this time of year. You have high Cape values, still 36, 3,700 in Texas. It's going up to Oklahoma, Kansas, and you're still getting Colorado and New Mexico in on this possibility for some storms in your area for Tuesday. But you can also see that it does drag out to Louisiana, Mississippi, and it goes all the way towards Tennessee with some Cape values as well. So the storms will be back to normal come Monday and Tuesday going through the south and southeast. Until then, it's going to train all this energy, all this moisture into the central U.S. and then go towards Ohio Valley. And all these storms coming up here all the way till Monday. This is your precipitation outlook all the way till Monday. And you can see how the heaviness goes towards Kansas, then it goes down across the Ohio Valley. For Kansas, Wichita, all the way to Kansas City, all this is very heavy rainfall, two to three inches, with hot spots of three to five in certain places. So we need to update this as well. Going straight across Missouri, all the way to St. Louis, you're gonna be getting a lot of rainfall, and there is a heavy spot of five inches of rainfall. And that looks like it's east of Columbia, Missouri. So we need to keep an update on that, because uh, there's gonna be a lot of storms going for y'all in Flood is the last thing you need to worry about right now. Southern Illinois is going to go across St. Louis, go all the way south of Olney. 
southern Indiana. It's going to go all the way towards Evansville. It's going to go all the way towards Richmond, Kentucky, Somerset, and Pikeville. Now, all this is all two to three inches of heavy rainfall. Some places got three. Some places got two. But anywhere in this white is, it at, is at least two inches of rainfall. And you will get some also for the eastern side of West Virginia. And you can see how we go from Monday into the next two days for the seventh day. You can see how the heavy rainfall comes in for Oklahoma, for Arkansas, for northeast Texas, and it just gets heavy. It's showing south of Dallas, according to the GFS. The Euro does show all this is even more southern. But so far, I'm showing that Dallas has a chance for uh, anywhere from 7 to 8 inches, 8 and 9 inches more southern than you. That's a chance. All the way to Durant, Oklahoma, Texarkana, 6 inches, Little Rock, 6 inches, and Fort Smith, uh, 6 inches. This is going to be a widespread area of 5 to 6 inches that we need to worry about, especially Oklahoma, Arkansas, and northeast Texas as well as the Ohio Valley and Kansas and Missouri all getting a little bit more rainfall. Now you get a nice big red strip of three to four inches, some hot spots of five to six. But this is going to be very heavy rainfall for the Ohio Valley for the next five to seven days. Uh, it's going to affect the southern half of the U.S. on day five, six, and seven. All right, so I'll put this on the NAM 3K so you can see what's going to happen with your weather. Uh, until Saturday morning. Now, a lot of storms going to go across Florida today, and then this afternoon is going to be more lower in the Florida towards Miami that you'll have storms until about midnight. And it'll finally roll off about 1 in the morning, but then it'll come back a little bit more for tomorrow as well. And what I want to do is I want to talk to the people out there that are having really rough times right now for the last few days. I've been understanding you through your comments as y'all know i read every single one and i have been doing that for five years now i want to give you a little bit of encouragement man don't give up even though things are rough everything has a season okay so good times are coming if you're going through some bad times um, most importantly first corinthians chapter 15 i want to start on verse 51 it's a great chapter it's a real long chapter but really think you need to hear this. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, in the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be yet steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. God bless you all. I hope you have a very blessed day today. It's a beautiful weather out there. A lot of people are going to have a great day today. So go enjoy that. God loves you. I love you. All glory does go to God. God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> go watch that tropical update from yesterday. Have a great day.